hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crude VTuber and right now I am having a lethal week and this is my second lethal week but instead of using my singles that I have from lethal, I'm using my palettes and today is the second video and I've decided to use this after dark. This I think was the first like pre-made palette they did where you can take out the singles from. I think they had the Yulina palette before this, but not more than that. So this was like, you could buy this empty palette also, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, this is an 80s inspired palette and I, yeah, 80s is not maybe my favorite era. I, it's too like colorful and yeah, I don't know. Too colorful and I have these nails with some candy and stuff. But okay. <laughs> so maybe with my, but, but like my nails are a completely different thing from both how I like to dress and why do I talk about this? Okay, um, but yeah, this palette isn't maybe... I wouldn't have bought this today, if you say it like that. And I do like some of the colors, but I just think the color story isn't yeah, maybe for me. So I am thinking about doing a monochromatic purple, actually. Or should I do monochromatic? Because I want some depth. The, it to be a little bit darker and this is the darkest color which is the purple one so I'm just thinking that I'm going to go in the easy way so this one, this one and this one maybe this in my inner corner or this white one I don't know but I will just prime my eyes and then we start with this makeup look and with Aedes this is like it is like one thing I don't know if you can like I think that certain people look like a certain area or like a certain time and for some reason it feels like I'm looking like an 80s person even though I'm not, I'm born in 89 so I'm a 90s kid and yeah it feels like just my appearance is screaming like the 80s and I hate it. I don't know if you get what I mean, but I am always so afraid to look like 80s inspired. I don't know why that is. And maybe this is just something that I have like gotten into my brain, I don't know. But sometimes I'm like, does it look like I think it's uh, 84 again? I don't know. I don't know which was my favorite like... Um, area when it comes to clothes and stuff. I have no idea. I do like some of the 90s, maybe the 90s grunge. The Y2K that people are raving about now. I That is like one thing you feel, you notice like you're older because the things that was popular when I was in school will, is starting to be popular again because the people like that is born in maybe 2005, they are like 18 this year. And that is crazy. So I guess that is like a sign that you are getting older, that the things that were popular when you were a kid is coming back. And one thing that I don't understand why it's come back. I don't know who wants this, I don't know who likes this, but the low rise jeans. I hated them before and I still hate them because I can't wear them. I do not have the body type for low rise and I, yeah, I don't know. Like all these butterflies and yeah, I don't know. And like, I remember when I was in school, when I was maybe eight, nine or something, one of my friends had a older sister, I don't know if she maybe was eight or nine years older. 
So she was a young adult <laughs> when we were kids and she like was going to rave and stuff and have these like, you know, the rave clothes, like super colorful, a lot of patterns and stuff. And I thought it was so cool. Like she was the coolest. The only 90s thing that I do like is yeah the 90s grunge. That can't come back. That doesn't bother me. Okay. I don't know what this was turning out to. But now we have this on. And now, now I'm only taking this. So I'm going to take this one as well. And I know that I've used this before. But I have no idea how dark it is. Dark enough. I'm going to take this a little bit into my crease as well. And I'm going to do a half cut crease, so... Yeah. And I'm going to use my glitter primer because I... A part of me is like always, if I have to use a glitter primer, it's not a good glitter or a good shimmer, but that is not true. One thing why I do like to use glitter primers is because... I don't get that much fallout and it's just a little bit easier to control it and it's not that flaky. Okay, so far so good. Okay, I am going to cut my crease with my glitter primer and then I think I just want to go in with this one. I can write the names down in the description because I don't have it. I don't think I saved the sleeve. I have no idea. Do you hear Astrid that is messing with something? I'm going in with this one. And I like, I can't tell her to stop it because she can't hear me. I know, I think Ines is coming as well because she is wondering what is going on in here. And then I guess they're going to start fighting as they usually do. This shimmer was really nice. It's some blue to it. I don't even know what she's chasing it could be a hair or something okay I do think I like this I do like that this shimmer is a little bit blue and a little bit purple and yeah I do like purple now sue me but yeah I do like this look so I will cut the other crease try to figure out what Astrid is chasing have no idea and do my face and then I come back and I'm actually going to try a new product two new products I have a new eyebrow I've talked about this that I wanted I bought an brow powder duo from Catrice I don't know though I don't know if this is too light and too dark I have no idea I, I think it's so hard and I also finally got my new mascara and this is from Berry M and I have heard great things about this I guess this is the first thing that I'm trying from Berry M this is the feature length so I will fix my face and then I come back so this is the finished look and I do like it if I'm okay where to start should I start with a new thing this mascara it gave a lot of length and not that much volume. It is a lengthening mascara, so I guess it's good. The eyebrow, I think, the thing is I've been using one shadow from the Infinity Palette by LH Cosmetics, but like I want to have that shadow as an eyeshadow, so I don't want to use it up for my brows. And that is really pigmented. And after I've been using that for a while and go back to a Thing that is supposed to be used on eye eyebrows. I always think these are not that pigmented, but I guess this is more normal. And I guess that the color is good. I did use both of the sides, the lighter one in here and the dark one out here. Yeah, I don't know. And also, like, I need to fix my eyebrows. They are looking so messy. For my face, I did use Ombra and then I did use this blush from Lethal that is called hybrid no maybe <laughs> and then this 
a highlighter that is flux flex flux i can never remember which one it is for my waterline i did used amethyst hour from colourpop on my lips i took anemia from lethal and then i took some aura lip gloss from lunar beauty just a little bit in the middle and that is the look i do really really like this shimmer i don't know i i I guess I'm missing out because this shimmer looks really good as well and I see that I've used it but I can't like remember what I thought. I guess I thought it was good. So yeah, I do like some of the colors. I just think that I maybe am not super thrilled about how this palette looks and maybe that is why I don't use this. I know that I could like pop them out and do my own. The thing is with me, when I buy a palette that is pre-made like this, it's just a little bit hard for me to like take it apart. I don't know why, because it's, you're supposed to do that because it's hole in the back. But I have such a hard time for that, I don't know why. I've been thinking about taking out all my lethal shadows and then like do a new palette with them. And I think that I will use some more because I do use my singles more than my palettes from Lethal, which is a bit sad because I do. They are the same, like it's the same formula either if it is a pal palette or just single, so I don't know. But I do really like this look. Maybe I, if I didn't only use this, I think I, maybe, I think it would have looked really, really good with a black like a black out here maybe then i would have deepened down my crease with a darker purple take black out here instead and then take the shimmer i think that would have been an awesome look and i do have a black from leaf also yeah okay that's what's all for this video i do really hope that you are looking forward to this week next uh, tomorrow i think it's going to be velvet dusk the 90s grunge palette which i do like more than this so yeah i do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye